Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Grand Design Imagine AIM model number 15RB. It's a rear bath front Murphy bed with a booth dinette. It's an awesome small little trailer weighing around 3,700 pounds or so. This is going to have you buying spear guns and scaling the Washington Ma Monument. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, happy camper, future camper and fellow salespeople? Thanks so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. I really, really like this floor plan. Aim, fantastic job, and there's so much storage going on in this thing for a small trailer. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook, so if you don't mind following us along there as well, we'd enjoy that. Right on, Brandon. It's short and nimble. It's only 15 feet, like we said, box-wise. Eight feet wide, though, which makes a big difference on the interior. Lots of windows, lots of storage. We're gonna get to it all of it there. Front power jack, 20 pumper paint tanks, battery in a box location in behind there. One is provided by Lazy Acres free of charge. We got ourselves our pass through storage going right through there to the other side. <clears throat> we have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof coming down through our charge controller, charging our battery for you. Outside shower, city water connection, fresh water fill outside receptacle then we also have a uh, a solar disconnect and which is what you should use when you're going down the road and then a, a full unit disconnect shutting the battery off for that magnets are holding these doors up in place four manual stabilizer jacks one on each corner this has the upgraded uh tires on it brenda but you can get it with the standard tires we have our black water flush kit range hood vent sewer drain down below here and as we come around the back side of the 30 amp detachable style cord roof ladders here get up on your roof check your seals every 90 days that's a one-piece roof which is just how like my grandmother's bathing suits here at the back we're prepped for a backup camera we have a furion on-demand water heater outside spray port right through here and then there's actually a little um griddle here brendan love it all aim models all aim models including the 15 rb so it's like a flat top griddle you can cook eggs bacon right on the surface in through there and just slips away don't even notice on the inside a lot of times outside kitchens kind of take away from the interior of the coach this one obviously doesn't furnace vent right through there gravity feed freshwater fill lend a hand grab handle three-step entrance up and in our electric awning starts right here behind the door, goes all the way forward. It's a friction door hinge, three-step entrance up and in. The other side of our pass-through storage, these uh, Imagine Ames are inverter prepped. Um, Asdell walls, too, on these Imagine Ames, eh, Brennan? Love it. Love it. Let's go have a look inside. Right on, folks. We're inside that Imagine 15RB. I love the space we have in this no-slide floor plan. There's a great aisleway. There's great walkway space around the Murphy bed. Um, now getting into the Murphy bed here is pretty awesome because we have a great amount of storage on either side. There's hanging storage on this side over here and on that side. We've got the double drawer action here for the undershirts, the socks and underwear. And then we have big drawers here down below as well, which is cool. And then flipping this into a Murphy bed is really, really easy. You just go flip, flip. There's only the one latch. <clears throat> Pop the wood down, and then pop the mattress down pretty easily, right Brennan? Very simple. There's also a shelf up there. We got some reading lights or night lights. There's USBs and receptacles in through there as well, and a good looking headboard. Overall, really, really easy Murphy bed to use. If you want to add like a little memory foam on that, you can. There's space in behind that mattress to just kind of roll that up and put that away. One of the big benefits of this floor plan is as well, we walk in. You got a spot right there for shoes, which is a big deal for me. And then new for 2024 is they finished off uh, the back side of these dinettes much better. It used to be like a like a fabric in through here, that, which would be like a wear point, right, Brendan? Yep. Which most manufacturers still do. Still do. This is very, very, uh, you know, it's, it, like it doesn't look that much different, but it's a lot uh, more functional. We got the booth dinette here, the single pedestal leg. The benefit to the single pedestal leg is that as I slide in here, there's really nothing obstructing my feet. Uh, nice and easy to get into. We got our door side window here facing our campsite. The uh, tabletop here matches the countertop perfectly, which is really cool. Our TV is directly across from the one side of the dinette and the couch and the bed. So that TV placement's great. Right over here, we have our six cubic foot, 6.2? Yeah. 6.2 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge in through here. I like this uh, uh, freezer, Brandon, just cause it's like a little um, drawer. You know, nice and easy to get two things in through there. That's a that's a cool thing. Did you ever notice that before? 
What? That was soft close? Mm, no, I didn't notice. It. I didn't notice that before either. That's really, really cool. Look this at all super the deep. depth in through here. That's a great looking pantry. In our uppers here, we got all kinds of space for plates and cups. They put the shelf in there right from the factory, which is what you want to see. We got seamless counters. We have ourselves a sink that's underneath this glass cover. Popping that up. There we go, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a spot right there you can charge your cell phone or plug your uh, USB into. We've got cupboards here below. A couple good sized drawers here. Convection microwave. And then a big pot and pan drawer right there with our two burner stove top over the glass stove top cover over top of our two burner stove top and a range hood vent. We got LED light strips that go the full width of the trailer and that just pulls all the shadows out of the unit. We don't like shadows here at Lazy Acres because evil lies in the shadows. Now, <clears throat> as we get into the bathroom here, it's a killer bathroom, right? Like there's all kinds of floor space. The dump truck definitely fits all kinds of hip space. Towel bar here already mounted for you. Great counter space in and around the sink. A couple uh, drawers in through here that are deceptively small. Medicine cabinet in through here. And I've always been a fan of having uh, a window in the washroom blackout shades throughout and then up in the shower I'm six feet tall I fit in the shower quite easily there's not a lot of 15 foot trailers I fit easily into style door that honeycomb skin that's the video folks hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit us up on Instagram Facebook and TikTok leave us a comment down below have yourself a good day